Janae Siegel out of a dumpster. The John C. Mag drill. Click on the magnet, and I can't can't budge it. Magnet works great. Here's a little light show for you, though. I think uh, it needs some repair. Not bad for dumpster dive, though. Hey, everybody, we'll see. thanks for uh, stopping by the shop. My name's Chuck, and uh, I'd like to wish everybody a happy new year. This is uh, being filmed on New Year's Eve. A little chilly in the shop, no heat on today. I'm not going to be out here that long. Uh, but deal or no deal, there it is. It's all put back together. You guys can make the decision if I uh, made a deal or not. We'll uh, have some uh, discussion about it. Um, I'm going to give you a little history real quick. i got some notes here. Uh, the Yancey Corporation or Enterprises was uh, founded in 1957, and they only sold a product called a rotobore, which was a uh, sheet metal cutter. Here's a picture of it. Uh, back from that, uh, so in 1970 is when they started uh, manufacturing mag drills. Uh, and then in 1980, under patent, they uh, created the first annular slugger cutter, which uh, we use nowadays. And then in 1990, uh, they started a special product division. And I really don't know what they sold then. I didn't go further to find out. In 2011, uh, the company was bought out by Fine which is a uh, German uh, company, and uh, they still produce uh, mag drills and other products. Um, so, deal or no deal? As you saw, the uh, tool as it came out of the dumpster, it had an uh, electrical problem. So I uh, pulled the unit apart, and uh, the commentator... Uh, needed to go uh, to be repaired. As you can see, uh, here's some photos of it. And you can see the black uh, marks on it. Well, I sent it down south and uh, the unit came back and uh, I put it all together and it sparked just like, uh, just like what had happened when I had sent it down to them. They had not tested the unit, uh, they just had rebuilt the uh, commentator and uh, sent it back. So I called them up and uh, they said send it down. So I sent it back to them and uh, the comment was uh, it had the wrong brushes in it. I said I sent you the brushes originally. Well, they sent, so they put it together, sent it back and uh, put it all together, fired it up, it ran great. Hey, super. Well, I look at it, it's running in reverse. So I call the company up again and I said, hey, it's running in reverse. And they said, well, you know, we don't, we don't know. It, it, just a bunch of crap. And I told that guy to go take a flying, a flying F. Uh, I was pissed. And uh, they want me to send it back to him again. And I said, no, I'm not sending it to you guys. Forget it. So I took it to a local company here. Uh, they went through it. Uh, and uh, he said everything on the unit's fine. Uh, the problem is, is that the armature is, uh, is hitting the windings. Uh, it's not in there correctly. So I went down, met the guy, had it all apart, looked at it, and I said, Don't, I'll put it back together. So it took me 45 minutes at least of fooling around and uh, getting the windings around the armature correctly and uh, right now the the drill works fine so deal or no deal um, I'm into it for about four hundred and thirty dollars between the repairs down south the shipping back and forth and then the uh, local shop was another hundred and thirty for them to uh, do a review on it so uh, honestly, if I'd been looking at Craigslist all the time, would I have bought in a mag drill for $430? Probably not. Probably would have said, oh yeah, that's, yeah, maybe that's a good buy or 
it depended upon what it looked like. If it looked like what I took out of the dumpster, hell no. Um, do I need a mag drill? No. Uh, was a mag drill on my list of wants? Yeah, probably. Uh, I've seen some at some auctions, and uh, and uh, they went for quite a few dollars in in baskets apart. I was quite amazed. Easily five hundred dollars they went at auction. Uh, I was quite surprised. Um, so. I think I think I turned out okay on a deal, and uh, it will get uh, some use here in the shop. I've uh, I'll show you a couple of things. Um, as you know, they they run the angular cutters, and this unit is set up for it. It's got the snout for it, and then what I've done is uh, I've created. I took I, so. Pardon me. Here, so I, I created a unit that will accept the uh, Morris Taper 3 drills. This replaces this unit right here, and now I can run Morris Taper 3 drills in it, or I can run a drill chuck in it, Morris Taper 3, and run regular drill bits, or as you all know, I ordered this uh, from Banggood, these uh, carbide tip cutters, and uh, this gives me a, the ability to actually, with this setup, to use these carbide cutters. I don't have that many of the uh, rotobroach type of uh, these sluggers, these annular cutters. Don't have a few of those. It's quite expensive, and as you saw in the video I did on these, uh, it's relatively inexpensive all the way up to four inches uh, and they do cut of course this is going to cut through much deeper than this this guy here uh, the other thing I did make is I made an adapter uh, that uh, goes up into the uh, goes into the uh, collet here where I can run a small drill chuck also so all in all a little bag of spare parts uh, from putting it together um, the other thing on the unit here is uh, it has, you can see a cap back here. It has a, uh, its own uh, coolant tank. I'm not going to run the coolant in this unit, so I didn't worry about putting the valve back in. The valve needed a re new valve. Uh, I'm not going to run that. Um, new handles. Uh, pretty good unit. This top piece, I made this. Um, it was missing if you saw it in the very beginning. Um, so I, I made this out of uh, machinable plastic, and it's probably a, show you a couple photos of that. So uh, let's um, let's uh, show you the uh, unit in action. Okay, uh, here it is with the annular cutter. Turn on the mag. Now, this is only, uh, looks like uh, 3 16 um, steel here, it's a tube. Um, the mag drill really likes uh, much thicker material to bite the magnet on, but uh, we'll give it, some, give it some go here. Okay, successful cut. There's the plug down below. Let me clean up and we'll uh, do another uh, demonstration. Okay, switched over to the drill chuck and uh, let's give that a shot. We'll put it on the, uh, the higher speed. This does have a two speed gearbox on it.
Now, I really think this will come in real handy being able to use drill bits out here on the welding table to uh, set up and uh, especially on long pieces that I might have rather than trying to fight it in the drill press. All right, let's uh, let's go for another uh, video. Let me get reset up. Okay, here we got the uh, Banggood cutter in there. So just to give you a view, there's a cover that goes on here and this quick connect coupler is giving me a little issue there. That was the problem with the uh, unit slowing down there like it had no power. I'll get it uh, straightened out and we'll try one more drill. Okay, well, a little wiring problem here in the back. My bad. We'll finish this out though. Bags on. <laughs> slug. Let me fix my wiring issue. Well, as it always happens on camera, a little electrical problem there, but uh, I hadn't had that problem earlier, but as I said, I put it back together and I just got to work that out. So here's a uh, taper shank drill, more taper 3 in here. Going to go on that pilot hole that we made with the half inch drill. Um, interesting enough, uh, as you saw with the Banggood uh, bit, you probably saw the mag actually move a little bit as it bit hard. And that's just what I had said originally, that it really doesn't like biting on thin material. It really wants to be on uh, at least uh, half inch plate or better. Um, uh, that's where it really gets its uh, main bite. But uh, let's pop this hole and then we'll uh, finish up here. So I just looked over, my arm was probably blocking the whole damn thing. Not going to drill it again, just to show you guys. But anyway, uh, as you can see, the uh, drill's a success. It's operational, um, and uh, I think in time it'll find uh, some uses around here in my shop. Thanks for uh, stopping by the shop, and I hope you guys have a safe and happy New Year's uh, celebration coming up. Thank <laughs> you.